So I'm going to be going on vacation with my family here in a few weeks, and you know what that means. I'm going to be spending an awful lot of time in the sun, and these don't do particularly well in the sun. So I went to my local eye care center, and I ordered a pair of prescription sunglasses. And when I've worn sunglasses in the past, I found I've always preferred them if they had polarized lenses. As it turns out, the last time I wore polarized lenses was probably near the year 2000. So I wasn't really aware of the impact that that was going to have. I discovered that when you're wearing polarized lenses, it actually does some really interesting things to the screens that you look at every day. Like I said, the last time I wore polarized lenses was in the early 2000s, so it's been a while. So today I thought we'd take a look at some of the devices that I've got around the house and how they react to polarized lenses. Let's do this. So here we have the LG G4 and I've got my polarized sunglasses here. Let's take a look at what it does to the screen. So by default you see you've got a little bit of a uh, darkening to it. That's obviously just the sunglasses. But when I turn the screen sideways, it goes completely black. And if you're close to it, that means you see absolutely nothing. And now here we have the Samsung Galaxy S6. Again, looking at it straight on, we see no problems there. We turn it sideways, no problems. Upside down, no problems. We can go at weird angles. This is perfectly fine as well. A lot of this, I think, has to do with the LCD displays in most of these, whereas the Samsung does not use that. It uses an AMOLED display. Here we have the Meizu MX4, the new Ubuntu phone. As you can see, it is blacked out entirely, holding it straight up and down. You can still see my fingers and everything, so I'm not messing with anything. When I turn it sideways though, it goes back to being visible. So uh, this one, uh, the panel appears to be shifted differently than the G4. It's turned the other direction. Here we have the Asus Zenfone 2. Everything looks fine this way. We turn it sideways and it goes a little bit dimmer, but nowhere near as much as the other ones we've taken a look at. Here we have the Oppo Find 7. Up and down you can see it looks just fine. Turn it sideways, it gets a little bit dimmer, but again, nowhere near as much as the G4 or as the Meizu MX4. Here's the Amazon Fire HD 6. I was actually curious about this one because I might take it to the beach to read on it or something. As you can see, I do have the Fire OS Preview 5 on there and it doesn't appear to really be making a difference which way you turn it. It, turn, it does get a little bit more dim whenever you turn it that way, but not a massive amount of difference. And this is the Nvidia Shield tablet. We turn it sideways and it goes completely black as well. And now the Nexus 9 tablet, it's already kind of dim this way. We turn it the other way, it just sort of shifts colors. So it's still usable, but it's a little bit harder to see but it does still work at least. It gets that neat sort of rainbow effect to it. And while we're at it, I figure we might as well take a look at some of the Android Wear devices, because I know a lot of these use LCD displays as well. So there it is, there's the normal look of it. If I turn it sideways, in this case, it just goes to that rainbow effect again, so it is still quite usable. And here we have the LG G Watch. So there it is normally, turn it sideways. This one is still perfectly okay and usable with the polarized lenses. And I think that'll about wrap it up for this video. Really, I just wanted to sort of showcase the fact that if you're buying polarized lenses before you go out on vacation, or if you just have a pair of polarized glasses, make sure that you check out the phone that you're buying before you buy it, if the glasses and using the phone at the same time are going to be important to you. In my case, I was planning to take the LG G4 on vacation with me, but knowing that I can't really use it in landscape mode while I'm wearing sunglasses makes it a little bit disconcerting for me, so either choose between the polarization or the phone that you want to use. And I'm not really a physics guy, so I don't know all the reasons why it actually does this. I know it has something to do with LCD versus not LCD screens. Maybe some of you can let us know more down in the comment section below. But yeah, keep that in mind. If you're going to be going out and purchasing a new device, or if you're going to be purchasing polarized sunglasses before going out on a vacation or something, make sure you try them out with your devices before you buy them or before you buy the device. Make sure everything is compatible and friendly there. So that's going to be about all from me for today. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see me test these out with, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up down below the video if you like this video and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. And I will see you again next time.